Welcome everyone, in this video we're covering how we can draw circles. The circle drawing tool is accessible through the ruler tool inside of Google Earth. To enable the ruler you can go either under the tools menu and open up the ruler from there or just click on the shortcut in the quick access toolbar. So I'm going to click on that, navigate to the circle tab and while the ruler window is still open just left click, hold and drag in the viewport to draw out the circle. Then left click again to commit to the shape. Now under the ruler window you can set your units of preference. At the moment these are set to metric units, but if you just click down on the drop down menus you can change those to the units that you prefer to use. Now if you want to reposition the shape that you have drawn here you can just left click hold and drag on the center of the circle. If you want to delete the shape you can click on the clear button under the lower window. And if you want to convert the circle to a path, then you can click on the save button. And then you can treat this like any other path. For example, you can set a style and color for it or view the total length of the path under the measurements tab. Now, one cool thing that you can do with circles is to go under the altitude tab and set the mode from clamped to ground to relative to ground. And then you can set an altitude for this shape. Let's say that we want to elevate it 50 meters above the ground. I'm going to type 50. And now we can see that the circle is hovering above the ground. And then we can toggle on the extend path to ground option here, which is going to create a cylindrical shape. Now, if we go back under the style and color tab, there will be a new area section here from which we can control the way this 3D shape is looking. At the moment, the mode under area is set to filled plus outlined, which is why we see both the fill color and all of the red outlines. If we set this to just filled, we are going to get rid of the outlines and only the fill color will stay. And if we want to display only the outlines and get rid of the fill color, we can set this to just outlined. The transparency of these lines is controlled from the opacity value under the lines section. So if I set this to, let's say, 50%, we're going to get a 50% transparency on all of the lines. Whereas the opacity of the fill color is controlled from the area's opacity. So if I set this to filled and set the opacity to 50, we're going to get this kind of an effect. We can also change the fill color. For example, let's say that we want to switch it from white to blue. And this wraps it up for this video on drawing circles. Thank you for watching and see you in the next session.